Hello, this is Dr. Marge, and today we will discuss non carious tooth defects. So, not all procedures that we do in the clinic are just caries. So, we do operative dentistry, we do restoration also with non carious tooth defects. For example, abrasion, erosion, abfraction, attrition, fractures non-hereditary enamel hypoplasia, amelogenesis imperfecta, dentinogenesis imperfecta. In addition to that, we can also do diastema closure with non carious tooth defects. Let's proceed to abrasion. So what is abrasion? Abrasion is an abnormal tooth surface loss resulting from direct friction forces between teeth and external object. Always remember that in abrasion, there should be an external object. There should be an external object. For example, toothbrush, toothpick, or tobacco, or pipe stem. Abrasion happens because of frictional forces between contacting teeth components in the presence of an abrasive medium. So, may occur from improper toothbrushing technique. Very common in horizontal brushing. So, improper toothbrushing technique, horizontal brushing. For example, this one. Horizontal toothbrushing technique can cause abrasion to the gingival third area of the tooth. Number two, habits such as holding a pipe stem by the teeth. Number three, tobacco chewing. And number four, vigorous use of toothpicks between adjacent teeth. Toothbrush abrasion is the most common, okay, seen as a sharp V-shaped notch in the gingival portion of the facial aspect of a tooth. Why facial aspect? Kasi kung toothbrushing yun, lagi naman facial lang tinututbrush. Yung lingual, kadalas hindi nga tinututbrush nung iba. Diba? Intervention may not be done if asymptomatic. Pag hindi naman nangingilo, pwedeng hindi i-restore. Pero ba't nakikita nyo na yung dentin part? Then you have to restore because, you know, dentin is softer and you don't want the progression of a larger cavity. But all the time, it is important to determine and eliminate the cause. O ano ba yung nag-cause niyan, yung abrasion na yan? Then we correct that. Or else, after restoration, magkakaroon ulit ng problem. Next, erosion. It's a wear or loss of tooth surface by chemical-mechanical action. By chemicals. Causes, regurgitation of stomach acid can cause this condition on the lingual surface of maxillary teeth. Yung mga suka ng suka. Remember, in your chemistry class, ano yung acid? Acid that, uh, that is in your stomach. Ano? Blank, black acid. Can you comment down your answer? So, pag suka ka ng suka, yung acid na yun, Nagkakos ng erosion sa lingual surface ng maxillary teeth. Okay. Habitual sucking of lemons causes dissolution of the facial aspect of anterior teeth. Meron iba mahilig sa lemonade. Gusto pa yung mamahaling lemonade, yung concentrated. So, yung acid nun causes erosion to the tooth. Ingestion of acidic medicines causes loss of tooth surface. So, for example, uh, acetyl salicylic acid. Oh, what is acetyl salicylic acid? Commonly known as what? Can you comment down your answers? For example, mephenamic acid. O oh, yung ibang inunguya, nilal dinudurog, nilalagay dun sa cavity, nagkukos ng erosion. 
Erosion is a crescent-shaped defect on the enamel facial surface. Okay. So, makikita niya dito. Ayan. Nagnipis na. The enamel has become thinner. And this is the line. Okay. And look at the lingual surface of the maxillary anterior teeth. And how will you do restoration on that? Okay. So, before you do treatment, you have to eliminate the cause. If the cause is uh, bulimia, frequent vomiting, then you have to find a solution to that first before you do the restoration. If you like to drink uh, lemonade, if you like to suck lemons, then you have to gradually remove that. Next is abfraction. Okay. It's a wedge-shaped defect on the cervical portion of the tooth caused by strong, heavy, eccentric occlusal forces resulting in microfracture. So dito, almost V-shaped din siya. Pareho, almost pareho doon sa abrasion. Kaya lang dito sa abfraction, usually makikita mo siya isa lang. Isang ngipin lang yung involved. Compared with abrasion, since it's because of toothbrushing, usually tatlong ngipin o apat, ganun, o dalawa. Whereas sa abfraction, isang ngipin lang. Okay. The occlusal forces during mastication, kumakagat ba kayo, mahilig ba kayo magkagat ng ano? Ng ice. Yan. When you're drinking cold drinks and you're crushing down the ice using your teeth, it cause, causes microfractures on your teeth. And eventually, you would say, Doc, I just ate bread. but nabasag na yung ngipin ko? Oh, because there has been microfractures even before. Abfraction is also termed as idiopathic erosion. So you don't know the exact cause. Idiopathic, you don't know the exact cause. Okay. Next is attrition. Attrition is the mechanical wearing away of the incisal or occlusal surface as a result of excessive functional or parafunctional movements of the mandible or tooth-to-tooth -tooth contact. Usually, if you don't have correct occlusion, uh, you can have attrition. And attrition doesn't only uh, happen in your incisal or occlusal. There is also attrition in the proximal area of our teeth. Diba? When, you were, when we were younger, newly erupted teeth, meron yan mamelons. Ganyan. Bakit ngayon wala na kayong mamilo doon sa incisor? Straight na. Did you drill it out? No. It's a physiologic wearing away of tooth structure. Pero pag ganito sa picture, malala na. May abnormality with the occlusion. Okay. Side to side. Okay. Proximal surface. While you are eating, during mastication, yung dalawang Proximal na yan. Nagkikiskisan sila. So, when you get older, the contact area of your teeth becomes what? Narrower? Or broader? Comment down your answers. So, makikita nyo dito. Pag nagkakaroon ng attrition, nagkakaroon ng attrition, nagkakaroon ng attrition, the, the incisal angle becomes sharp. The incisal angles become sharp. So, when you get older, mas sharp na yung incisal angle. So, pag sinabi ng patient, Doc, I want to look younger. So, would you make a sharp incisal angle on your composite veneer, on your restoration, or you would make a rounded, rounded incisal angle on your incisors? 
Okay? Huwag nyo naman lagyan ng mamelon. I don't, I want to look younger, nilagyan nyo ng mamelon. Okay? So, comment down your answers. How, how would you look younger? Would you look younger with your sharp incisal angle or rounded incisal angle? And we proceed to fractures. Fracture is a separation or loss of a portion of a tooth. Okay. Very common in children in school. Takbo ng takbo, ayan, they keep on running around, and the fracture na yung anterior teeth. Okay? So, what do we do here? Emergency situation, if you are the school dentist, you can just round off a little bit of the sharp uh, shreds of uh, tooth, of the enamel, so that it will not cut the lip or the tongue. Okay, but you don't uh, immediately do restoration because when you touch the tooth, it's very painful. It's really very painful because that is traumatized. And you have to observe for around two to three weeks before you do the restoration. But you also have to inform the parents that since the tooth is traumatized, there's a tendency for the tooth to necrotize, mamamatay, and eventually with this color, this color yellowish or grayish. Okay? So, pag nag-discolor, namatay, nag-necrotize, what do we do? The treatment is to do root canal treatment first. Okay? And then we have enamel hypoplasia, amelogenesis imperfecta, and dentinogenesis imperfecta. This is an example of your amelogenesis imperfecta. Okay, there's an abnormality in the formation of your enamel. So, bata pa, pag tubo nung, uh, pag erupt ng permanent teeth, meron ng abnormality sa enamel. With regard to dentinogenesis imperfecta, there's abnormality in the formation of the dentin. This usually happens in when uh, pregnant women ingest antibiotics, specifically tetracycline, kaya nag-gray yung teeth. So, dentinogenesis imperfecta. And then the last one is enamel hypoplasia. In enamel hypoplasia, there is also an abnormality, but uh, there are some cases that the enamel is absent in some parts of the tooth. So, ito, almost dentin na yan. Dentin na. And we try to drill that area so you can place composite resin. It's really soft. It's really soft. Okay, so be careful with that. And so it's uh, important for you to know the causes of the non carious tooth defects before you do any restorative treatment. Okay? Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today.